What's up, everybody? Yo, to be real, man, I love drill music. Everybody knows that. Really, really got into it, man. And this thing going on with Dirk, bro, it's just... It's made me sad, man, because I've been looking back through the drill and all the artists I love. See, I never really... I never picked a side, really, in a whole lot of the the stuff going on, man. I just love the music. And to be honest, man, I wish they could have kept the beef on wax because when they energized that beef and the music, it just made everything, I feel like, so much harder and better. And it's sad, man, that that stuff had to go into real shit and people really lost their lives, man. But, you know, it's crazy. Like, start thinking about a lot of this stuff, man. <clears throat> And it's just sad, bro, because really there's no winners. You know what I mean? Started thinking about it, just broke my heart. My favorite artist, man, probably, of course, Chief Keef, G Herbo, and Bibby, which, you know, they were smart enough, man, to make good business decisions and good life decisions and got away from the stuff. At least it seems that way. You know what I'm saying? So... I hope they stay on a positive track and keep going. You know what I mean? I'm starting to like this kid out of St. Louis, CTS, Lil Wick. And I really hope that, you know, he ends up grinding his way out of the trenches, man, and, you know, finds out how to transfer completely to be a star because I know he came from some background. I don't want to see him go down like that either. But another rapper from St. Louis, 30 Deep Grimy, you know, prison time. Dirk's facing a federal death penalty, man. I love Dirk's music, man. That broke my heart to hear what was going on with him. Although I will say it didn't surprise me. Um, the death of King Vaughn, super talented dude who I just felt like was meant for so much more, but just couldn't leave that street life behind, man. It ended up costing him his life. You know what I'm saying? And... FBG Duck, dude, probably my favorite out of the Chicago drill scene. And, of course, you know, Duck's murder was was big news. Um, and I like even the, the music going on in Jacksonville, man, between Fulio and Young and Ace, you know. And uh, Fulio's death, man, it hit the heart, bro. Um, that, was, that was a tough one, bro. And... Uh, <sighs> I gotta be honest, dude. I mean, going after Dirk like they are, it wouldn't surprise me. That's a federal case, man. The feds were watching him for years with a snitch and his crew and a bunch of stuff that hasn't even been revealed yet. I really hate to say that it won't surprise me if Young and Ace goes the same way, you know, or something worse happens. I really hope not. I love Young and Ace's music and I'd love to see him be a survivor and a successor out of this stuff, but it's just the way it seems to be, man. It just breaks my heart. There's so much talent in this drill music, and I, there's so many artists that I came to love and relate to their songs. And, you know, I just, it's so sad to see that in this style of rap music, there's very few to no winners, man. And I hope that it's kind of a message to the people that they're speaking to in their music too, their, their crowds and their fans, because it's not worth it, man. You know, you have the opportunity to make it out, retire your parents, make millions of dollars and be have a platform to speak to the world. Let that street shit go, man. Seriously, it's heartbreaking. And I wish the best on Dirk, man, but I got to be real. I don't think the feds are playing with it.